We already saw another ironclad, right? Mm. Alright, let's just get these worms out of the way. <laughs> eh, these fasts are kind of shitty, though. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this fast, to be quite frank. That must is a hard fight. I mean, you can either trivialize him or just get completely wrecked, you know. Well, here's the thing. It's like, he's on average very hard, or there's some outliers where you trivialize him. I think, on average, you can handle the Hexagos relatively well. Sometimes you can completely trivialize it. Sometimes it's, you know, in the same way you can trivialize the, the, the slam boss, the same thing can happen with Hexagos. The only difference is... The average case of Hexaghost is not as hard to beat it. It's pretty predictable and it doesn't require so many things out of you. Uh, and then we have to the Guardian, and I think on average the Guardian could be defeated by the most simplest of decks. In fact, the only w condition you have to worry about with the Guardian is can I survive the first hit like with enough damage or enough block? And if you answer that condition against the Guardian, well then, you can win the fight with a, a singular Rampage. Like, all you need is Rampage in that situation. I'll just take 4 anyways, so I might as well just kill. Uh, we're gonna take the curse. Yeah, buddy. So I think on average the Guardian is probably the easiest, yes. I have to remove this pain. I had no reason to take one damage there. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Well, that point is forcing it down my hand. I want some weaken. Remove the pain. Do we have enough to kill this? Fire pot, yes. Very good. And I can't really have agreed to this. Oh, we have two elites. Let's get more bash turn. I think it's, more, I think it's important. I'm gonna try not to use Fire Pot. I wanna save that for the next elite and or Slime Boss. This gives me self farming clay and it gives me a uh, good damage. Saves damage as well. Really easy fight. Just really good deck at the moment. I'll do another elite. I have the tools for it. In fact, this fight I have um if I take damage, I get self from clay and I get more damage off. Ah, it might be worth it. More new chakra value. Get self from clay value. Trading two for three. Not bad. We get more self from clay value. We have Evolve out, so we can never longer, no longer lose this run. I might as well save all the life altogether. But... I do more by killing this. And I think getting a Funeral Pain out is worth it. But I do more by letting, sending that up for lethal, right? At this point we never take damage though, because of Funeral Pain, so I should probably just full block, actually. Yeah, I think I should full block there. Because at that point, I actually never take damage with Funeral Pain and Evolve. Whoopsies. Yeah, that's why you should just block for that extra one. And that one can make a difference. This has been maxing. Potion Bell is good. Reaper is great. I actually was look power through was an option. I snap picked by mistake. I'm actually very happy with Reaper. It was Reaper. Let's do it.
could have done funeral pain first, save some life, but I actually want to do this. Yeah, we already got some two distant raiders, so that's kind of crazy. I'm already vulnerable, so this guy's already only doing that much damage, it's already over. I mean, this is a completely different deck for, uh... I guess Rorschach's fine, because we actually have... I want to get Evolve out. I mean, this is a completely different sandbox fight. Yeah, we, 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 our runs have been kind of more like experimental, uh, experimental warm ups. Is Red Dream Reaper now? You're not gonna get more out of it when they're split? I think it's better to get out of the deck. They split at what, 20? Us again. Double tap corruption. Corruption is pretty good. Black star. I think I, I like black star here. I, I, I don't want Soji with the potion bow, and I, I like black star here. Let's do some elites. How many elites can we do here? We're we getting. Alright, let's do three elites. The French. Ah, uh, Devrates. Too easy. These guys can do some damage. But we have Reaper to sustain throughout the act, so this is fine. Reaper to sustain throughout the act is totally fine. Guys, this guy's hurting us, though. This is gonna be one of the harder fights for us, but once we get some fleshy Reaper targets, it's not worth going for Reaper in this fight. Turn Strike's not even that good here. Neither there's any Entrench. Sometimes it's good with Corruption. We just pop off a whole bunch of crap. Sometimes with Offering, we get big Entrenches. I like Entrench here. Nice. Yeah, the Bronze Skills. It was like one of my weaknesses is that fight, but uh, let's get whatever Reaper probably we can and, and move on. These people are going to kill themselves anyways with Brunt's. It's, I might save some life by doing this, because I get Brunt for stuff from McClay and I get this guy much lower. I can imagine I save life like this. Um, probably save life from the attack pot as well. This guy's dead in three hits. One, two, three. This guy's dead in four hits. So I've taken nine. Uh, I could save some life. Mm, so I want to waste a potion here. No, it's okay. It's okay. Let's fight this. Do I want to leave him alive for Reaper? Or attack now? Like that. That's how I want to do it. We get we get Hemokinesis value. Sorry. So from a clay value, and then I can maybe keep him alive for Reaper here. It would be so sick if we got Reaper right now, right? I think we actually keep him all alive for Reaper next turn. Even though this guy's getting blocked. Is that kind of crazy to keep them all alive for Reaper here? Especially since the guy in the back is in a... Nah, I, th I think it's important to get Reaper value here.
We still didn't get drawn to Reaper. That's crazy. Wow, we still didn't drawn to Reaper. I that sucks. At this point, I have to save some life. That sucks. I try playing that a little bit more perfect. I need to get a better fight for Reaper value. I think at this point we have to just rest. We got the trifecta, dark embrace, all that stuff. I think we just rest. And this at least should be fine. Hmm. I think we just go Reaper now. Uh well. How about we play with Essence of Steel in this fight? Well, actually, maybe the Chili Pot's better because if I get hit. Hmm. Maybe the Chili Pot's better. I want to do Hemocritus as often as possible. I think I need to maximize my damage output. Ron Skills is not enough. Entrench is good here. I really want to get Bash played. So. Oh, Entrench is not even good. What am I talking about? X. So corruption becomes really good now on um, this specific turn. Like this is a fucking insane corruption turn. That hand was nuts. And then we can like get Reaper to finish off. Oh wait, this this is just nuts as well. Let's get Reaper. This fight is nuts. Holy shit. Barricade? Absolutely. Are we playing another run? Yeah, we're playing another run on as we speak. We got Barricade entrenched now. And beautiful. Nachiyoshka is fantastic. Wait, I got it late. Nachiyoshka is not fantastic. I don't get full value. I could still get value out of it. I think I get more out of Dragon Base Corruption. I think I get more out of doing this we got a lot of cats menage a lot we got a lot of menages going on I should have played barricade this turn but I benobled that uh Lady, let me block. Ah, I should just play entrenched there. Uh, I should just play entrenched, th uh, full block there. Be right back. Back to the fight. We don't feed or reaper in the morning, deck, right? Unfortunately, I gotta milk a better reaper in the next one of these next fights. I also gotta stop doing hemokinesis for the rest of this fight. We also probably should pick up a body slam. Vacation pot. What's the weakest link? That's nuts. Reflected strike. Do a lot of strikes. I don't know if a second headbutt is worth it just yet. But sometimes it is. We got a barricade and trench upgrade. Man, do I like this relic. I think... This is tough. I think I like this. I 
want to head back to Arkham Brace at some point. Well, he's attacking me anyways. He's hoping not to get frail. You can save that potion for like a um, entrench. That was possible. I wonder if corruption is just fine here actually. I think corruption is just fine here. Uh, we don't have AoE. I guess we have, D yeah, we have Reaper here. This is a good Reaper turn. Let's bring back Entrench. Eh, it's a little early for Entrench, isn't it? And I think Weakens better here and for more damage. Rocket Brace is very good though. Eh, we, we have enough block that we don't actually need. This is a good entrench though. Certainly. I think at this point we can focus damage on the boss, but what I will do is do this. I'll do this. Still chilling, ay ay ay. Welcome back. Eh? Ed the Goblin. I don't know how, how else I can pronounce that. Welcome back, man. Second Dan, you want to start bringing your deck together. So in the second act, you want to start bringing your deck together. Uh, getting stronger cards, the ability to draw cards. The ability to draw cards, like weakens and, and stuff like that, disarms. In that case, maybe some form of scaling if you haven't had scaling already. Maybe you address your problem with uh, AoE. Let's say you had bad AoE. Sure, you try to get the AoE solved. So it depends on what you're going on in the run. So during the run, there's going to be problems that you're going to have to solve. And depending on those problems, um, that dictates the you know, next course of action. But like, so right now, I want to like remove some of these strikes. I want to maybe get a couple of upgrades, a couple more powers. Or just like general things for my deck. Like I want some card draw. I want a little bit more front loaded block. I think my AoE could be worked on a little bit. You know, I want maybe some better scaling or a way to apply my block to damage. So I'm looking for body slam. I'm trying to remove stuff, you know. I'm going red leads, trying to get relics. Eh, the general game plan is like Starting to think about certain problems and solving them. It, it's tough to say because Slate Spire is so different each run. It comes down to just solving problems. And that's completely different for each run. So I think I should probably do more damage here. Whoopsies. The best thing for me to think about is what enemies you fight in X2 and how you can solve that. And then also look at the end boss. And ask yourself how you can solve the end boss for that act as well. So if it's the collector, for instance, you're probably thinking to yourself, uh, I need a way to solve the AoE if you're thinking about the collector. This is a tough fight, one sec. I also need a way to have survived during the debuff turns. So, when you, you get the idea, oof. I wish this was better, but it's not. I wish I was a better Reaper. My Reapers have been trashed right now. Oh, I didn't have Barricade up. That could have been a problem. That could have been an issue. Luckily, it wasn't. Really good stuff. Get some sustain. Get some good relic. I like it a lot. Makes offering a little bit better. Palmer Strike. Get some card draw. Uh, I'll take it. What we really want is to hit the shop. Maybe proc mall bank early. We don't actually have an energy relic, so we need to get an energy relic. We need to solve this some of these energy problems. Master strategy is card draw, and true grit is a pretty generally decent card. Good upgrade target. Works with funeral pain. It's another skill for corruption. Thins out my deck. 
So there's that. There's Chemical X, which I currently don't have any X class cards, and Whirlwind is the only thing. There's Molten Egg, and there's not a lot here, actually. Not a lot at all. I might just be tempted and take Master of Strategy and take my little $200, $200 card draw and cry myself to sleep. Probably buy a potion here. This is good sustain. And it works with Torrent Thopter, so, you know, it's pretty good value. In the world, we have a, a draw engine and a block engine with Days Reckless Charge. So we do have Funeral Pain, Dark Embrace, and Evolve. With all those things in the deck, you might start to think that maybe Reckless Charge is a decent card. It's just, on average, giving you card draw. Card draw and blo uh, block. You, you can buy entering the plot. Yep, exactly. Ah. Juggernaut for damage. Get some more damage for Juggernaut, Funeral Pain. You know, that is a possibility. We could take our block and make it into offense with Funeral Juggernaut. Or we can just find a singular body slam. I think I want to remove a strike. I actually like Reckless Charge. Let's buy this Blood Pot. And I think I like Trugit a little bit. Another skill. I can save the rest of my money for... I can save the rest of my money for... Uh, another Relic at another time. Now, now, now often does something tick every box. Like, Reckless Charge ticks a lot of boxes of just being a very synergistic card. So I think it's worth buying it on sale there. Like, you could say it's a little bit late to be adding a card like this, but it actually ticks a lot of different synergies. That it, it This feels like a really good card. And it, it provides a lot of value. The fact that it can card draw, get block, and then card draw again... Best case scenario. Worst case scenario, well, I guess you gotta think about the worst case scenario as well. I think I like a true grid, and I'm gonna actually upgrade that true grid as opposed to upgrading, for instance, Funeral you know, Pin. Um, this fight could be a little bit difficult, but I think we have good enough potions that we should be fine. I should probably upgrade Funeral Pin at some point. My, my head my headphones are way too low. So, right now, that's just card draw. That's just damage because we have Evolve out already, so that's not bad. This is not a bad turn. Uh, I could think about using Dexterity Pot for this fight since I had Barricade out. I could think about using Weak Pot now. You know, but yeah, maybe I should think about doing Dexterity Pot and trying to get ahead with uh, Entrench. This is like. One of the better times that this Reaper's gonna be. Maybe I'll just do it now. Try to give myself a little bit of a buffer. Not getting Dragon Brace is pretty bad. Uh, this is just getting scarier and scarier. So if we don't manage to kill these minions ASAP, that's gonna get really scary. So I actually. There are some entrenched things I could do here. So I can do entrenched headbutt things. But only if. Trench was upgraded, and since it's not, it's a little bit awkward here. So what I can do is this. I want to be able to do Entrench and then play Headbutt on it. The problem is that... <sighs> it's probably better to just kill this minion altogether, but in the, the world where he resummons... Uh, it's probably better to kill the minion altogether. Maybe it's just best to do Defend Entrench. If we don't Headbutt Entrench, I guess we can get back to it. Another time. Yeah, I think it's the best play anyways. That's just too much of an extra play to block. Coming up right now. So he's not resummoning right now. So this is not a bad time to weaken. Uh, Alright. As long as we have a little bit extra block and draw into a trench, we'll be fine. Even if we don't find trenches, it'd be a good time to do corruption. I'm trying to hold off on corruption so the fight goes a little bit longer. I, I can just get entrenched, right? But we're also running out of entrenched value. Uh, this should be good enough, though. I 
bring that back. I should be GG now. Clean fight. Getting an Angel Relic would help this deck out a lot. You know, I guess it would be a good idea to. Uh, Sure, I need I need to play Reckless Charge. Reckless Charge is very important for this deck, actually. Reckless Charge was pretty important for this deck. This guy's still not resummoning, he just keeps buffing. So I'll do that just because I am so low on damage. But the corruption. I don't need to right now. He just not stop buffing himself. Not a bad fight. <laughs> Double tap brutality. Yeah, we need we need a body slam. Brutality from a card draw and. It's nullified by Tungsten Rod, so it just, just gives you card draw. Yeah, I like it. So we don't get it. We get an energy relic in the Philosopher's Stone. I think it would help a lot. We do have stuff from a clay. And we have a block deck, so, so eh, I think we take that. Although, Runic Pyramid is insane. And Runic Pyramid, even though we we have Happy Flower for energy sometimes. And we have Nunchaku for energy sometimes. We have Happy Flower, Nunchaku, and Offering in the deck. Also, if we take Runic Pyramid, we can find things like Seeing Red or Bloodletting and keep them in our hands, Sentinel, etc. So we can actually solve energy problems with Runic Pyramid. And we also have Corruption sometimes, but I don't know, it might be worth just for the fact that like holding onto Entrench with Headbutt is so powerful in a combo deck like this that I think it has to be Runic Pyramid. The problem is we do have like Evolve and stuff like that, so we gotta think about how we're gonna manage Wounds. So that's been one issue, is like managing wounds. Aside from that, I think we're really good. And also, Dark Embrace is a lot of card draw. So is Evolve, so... Like, we also have Brutality, which is also a lot of card draw. There's a lot of things that actually went against me taking Runa Pyramid. There's a lot of things going against it, like Brutality existing. Uh... Yeah, wait, Brutality existing plus the Dark Embrace card draw and Corruption. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have taken, I should have just taken Energy instead. It's a little too late now though. Uh, we could do Corruption in this fight and just win this fight. At any point. At any point we can just win this fight as soon as we pick Corruption, so... I feel good about that. I want to set it up so I can get... Reaper in this fight. This is what I mean by at any point we just win. I'm gonna try to get up a Reaper in this fight. And bad fight. We got Nunchaku stacked perfectly. So look how perfect that fight was. So we have Nunchaku perfectly stacked, Happy Flower ready, and a Fairy in the bottle on our little beautiful uh, mantle of potions. Let's go. For Snotic Shard, you guys want to do it? I mean, there's a body stand right there, boys. So, we're slapping this one. Boom. <laughs> Slap that one right there in the chest. Uh, we could take... Burning Pack to get a little bit more card draw, a little bit more thinning down of the deck. We could take Prismatic Shard just to add some spice to this. What would Prismatic Shard do? What would be the best case scenario? To make this super cool. Whetstone upgrades some of these attacks that are not already upgraded. It makes Warp Tongs hit better targets during the fight. So by upgrading these attacks, Warp Tongs could then hit other tar cards and basically my whole deck becomes upgraded. So Warp Tongs isn't the worst, but there's also that money I could save for something a little bit better. Moving another Strike Fist is pretty good actually. I think moving a Strike Fist is really good in this deck. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and pass. I could use this now. We have some decent potions.
This deck just does a lot. Like, it does a lot from a little. This deck does a lot. The power of these ironclad powers. The center does very well. I guess I'm supposed to get. No, I mean, there's not even point of getting Reaper here. Ah. Another Trugrit as an upgrade. Burning Pact for card draw. Trugrit again to thin out the deck even more. Have more ways to manage wounds and burns. I, I'm actually running out of cards to Trugrit. But if you make the deck that's very small entrenched deck, you can't lose. So True Grit's not bad because if your deck is really thin and all you have is entrench and like body slam, well that can win you the game. Those two cards alone can win you the game once you're ready to get set up. So more cards like True Grit to exhaust your deck down are actually not bad. Sure. Alright, you get some curses and go to a shop. Hey, what shop can we go to, guys? I think we just get a rare relic. Because as much as I like this gold, trust me, I love gold. I have to do this elite, which means I can't hit that shop. Now, we can. We have true grits to manage the formalities, no problem. And there is an Act 4 shop, but I think. I'd rather just get the rare relic. It's just a little bit more of a hassle. To make that, um. To make that work. I think why not do corruption barricade now, right? Uh, can I actually lose the fight but not not having enough? Potentially, right? Is, is it actually have to still play this fight? And the fact that I had to slow play this fight is a little bit worrisome for things like the heart. Because, uh, well. I don't know. I, I took a lot of terms to just set up my main my, my wing, wing condition. That was really bad. That's, that's kind of worrisome. My main wing condition took multiple turns to do. I mean, now we just win because of Body Slam. But... Okay, Captain's Wheel is worth it. That's really nice. I can take Brutality. Eh, does the cards are that much more important? I think Final Pain is pretty good. So that it's always upgraded. I'm using it quite a bit. We fight this. We fight this fight. If anything, give me an excuse to use a damn potion. Do you feel like barricade now? See, these are two important powers. Get some self on the play value. I mean, I don't have that much time to waste in this fight. So, like, I kind of need to. get moving fast, you know what I mean? Which means I gotta do things like that. And I, I need this entrench. I need to upgrade entrench. Uh, so, next upgrade is 100% gonna be entrench. 100%. It's incredible how important entrench is for me right now. Thank you. 
Come on, buddy. Okay, what did we get? Oh yeah, we use this. Get that. Got calipers. So for the world where we don't have barricade, well, we got calipers. Now in the world of rare relics, I'm gonna give that one like a. It's good here, but like I've seen better. Anyways, all right, let's move on. Let's carry on, with my wayward son. Let's give up a nice relic. Goodbye, strawberry. And hello, elites. Gold, gold, gold. This is a very good run, guys. Smooth, smooth, smooth run. Things are going great. Stop being harassed. You're an aggressive boy. And you know that your little bites can hurt people. So you shouldn't be so aggressive. Don't be so aggressive, mijo. First in SDS history. Reaper time. I benefits from the Reaper. The other Reaper. There's Body Slam. My deck is just a glorified Body Slam. You ready? Boom. Boom. Disarm. Solid. All right. More elites. What's it gonna be, young one? I want a card draw because I want to draw into my barricade and boom! What's poppin', Maji? How you doing, Caber91? Not much, man. Excited to get a win in this damn thing. Uh, we need to wait for him to be untangible so I can body slam his butt. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these things. I don't want to do that anymore. Let's get this out of the deck. Cool run. Yeah, it's a nice run. Let's just do that. Just get that damage out of the way. And then let's repeat. healing. Uh, let's just get strikes up then, I guess. Ceramic fish, attack potion. Another offering. Offering's pretty good. A lot of money. Alright, this guy could be a challenge sometimes. Well, oh, Barrett could turn one? Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't need to evolve here. Eh, actually kind of useful for... Or the reckless charge that I have. Alright, well, entrench into body slam plus is. So I actually have to upgrade entrench and I have to upgrade body slam. Look, look they seem pretty important because my, my deck is energy starved. Anyways, that was extremely important for me to, to have there. Corruption is still steel in this fight. Anything special? You're, yeah, I think you get a, a, a reward, right? Pretty sure there's a reward for killing the transient. I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you get a reward in achievement. All right. Hello, Max HP. Awaken one. I want to save Reaper. Hmm.
I don't really want wounds, but do you want my damage back? I need to get barricade out ASAP. Need to get barricade out ASAP. We need to have a big entrenched thing going on here. Oh, that's gonna be a tough fight. I need barricade ASAP. All right, on the bright side, I need to block four. Thirty-two, fifty. I need a block for fifty. All right, we got fifty. Mm. How do I don't want to do this. Block for fifty basically means. better do damage than her but I also want to kill the minions and I also want to play in trench so now I definitely do damage on necromancer now I definitely do the damage there that was a really good turn and double offering is very good holy shit we have calipers the calipers is so relevant here holy shit calipers did I ever doubt you Publicly, did I say something wrong about you? I really hope I didn't. Now I need to get all that block again, though, which is tough. Nah, we have corruption. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. Corruption makes this totally fine. The question is, at what point do you corruption? I think we wait just a second here. We don't corruption just yet. But, you know, time's... Alright. Alright, we corruption now. Pressure stones early in one to fight. Probably could save some life. Paper frog, mango. Oh my god, these are really good. Another headbutt. Uh, headbutt's quite nice in this deck. Headbutt's quite good. I don't think it's like a headbutt. Let's go ahead and upgrade. I think entrench is super important upgrade. It's like it needs to be played a lot of the times. It's a case in point here. Uh, I can't get rid of my body slam. I can get rid of Bash. Bash is really stupid to get rid of. I can get rid of one of the headbutts. It's also really stupid to get rid of because I have Entrench here. Uh, do we have another form of Vulnerable? Realistically, we're not going to need Bash for this deck. Let's bring back Entrench. I could do the damage. I'd rather save the cards. We're gonna set up a perfect deck. I need barricade there to go. I wanna get brutality out. Let your cards next turn only. This is not a bad turn to play. Entrench headbutt here. It's not a bad turn at all. We do it again. So, okay. It's kind of just a rinse repeat thing. And this trooper needs to be upgraded.
Alright, GG. We no longer lose now. Let's just go for the kill next turn. I get... Unfortunately, I could do Reaper here. Let's wait. Yo, let's go from down here to get the subs. Thank you for to get the subs, man. And welcome, everybody. Thank you from how you doing from down here. We got the Reaper, so let's go ahead and end. I kind of want to stack up in Chaku, right? At this point, we can min max. Yeah, at this point, we can min max because we have like the game's over already. I I don't really want to get in check with super stack. I'm like, eh, might as well, right? Like legit, might as well. Nice, from Danny. Thank you for being so generous, man. Right, let me just uh, keep stack a lacking. Might as well stack a lack. You can have your flower stack up as well. I mean, there's no reason not to. Happy Flower, we wait for Happy Flower. Okay. And let's end. <laughs> Isn't it kind of weird that you're just toying with the guy? Alright, let's see what the dog is water. Kino Bane is really nice here. Dark Embrace is really good here. Oh, it's probably GG. Alright. Pretty good start. Early entrench. I don't mind it. Come here, buddy. We do some caliber and trench stuff right now. We can do some caliber and trench stuff right now. You guys want to do some caliber and trench stuff right now? This is just relevant for calipers until we get uh, barricade. And there's, bar there's barricade. Boom. And there's barricade. Boom. And there's headbutt. Boom. So now we're setting up much faster. See that sec with that second, that second headbutt. We're setting up much faster. We also set up our uh, energy. We got double offering. Double offering was pretty clutch. Double offering was pretty clutch. Let's set up the happy flower in Chaku yet again for the next elite fight. If we could repeat this for the next elite fight, the offerings and stuff like that, it obviously would be really fantastic. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. So we seem to kill this person with body slam. And then we have Nunchaku and Happy Flower stacked. So next turn we kill. Alrighty. Let's see, we have a lot of money, guys. Let's see what the shop has to offer. We have fairy in the bottle, duplication pot, we're feeling good. Let's upgrade this true grit so it's no longer a curse when I draw it. For the most part. Oh, might as well become full uh, boat. It's not full boat, but horn cleave's pretty good. A second reaper doesn't seem necessary. This is triple thorn pot. Now, if we were worried about damage, this is... <laughs> okay. I like my potions. I probably just want to remove another strike. If I draw into those offerings sooner, uh, the more the merrier, right? So I think that's all it is. That's literally all we're taking here. That's it. I was gonna maybe get an Ori, but eh. 
Let's remove a strike. Bag of prep, let's go. Alright, we got early early stuff going here. Maybe we get barricade or trench early. Let's see what we get. Okay. We got this. For this and that. Not the worst. We seem to draw into barricade right now, right? Now we bring back entrench. We don't have entrench. We're gonna draw into entrench. We're gonna draw into entrench, right? We're gonna draw into entrench now, right? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Okay, entrench now, yeah? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Body stand one one. This guy. I should have reaver this guy. Should have reaper this man. It's the perfect end to reaper. There we go. We did it. All right, now we got to stall. We do eight attacks. I bet. It's not the best reaper, but it is what it is. It will do. Happy flower. If I can end on this one, it'll be fantastic. I gotta wait two turns. I gotta wait for happy flower. Resident sleeper. Nice. Gambler's brew versus firepot. Huge. Ghost in the armor, nice. Gambler's Brew is really good. A barricade. Nice. I want to play this arm now. Some good, that was some good ass relics at the end. I got some crazy ass relics. Jesus, gambling chip. Paper, you got some good stuff going on here. Ah, uh, next one, yeah. I guess we're just gonna need duplication pot on Final Pain. Pretty sure. We still haven't even practiced Centennial Puzzle. Duplication pot on Final Pain, I suppose. I guess get an entrench in a pinch. Why not do double Final Pain? Could do it in a pinch. We're not gonna get better Reaper value than this right now. Let's get it out of the way. I'm trying to save. Um I'm trying to save Flame Barrier for the turn he's attacking me. But I also want to redraw Entrench. So let's do that. 
It'd be very useful. If I played Entrench twice this turn. So... Relax, 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 boys. Let's get that damage just to make our life easier. Although, once we are set up, we just kill anyways with uh. So this is a good time to do Gambler's Brew. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, the game's too easy. GG. Hour on the dot. An hour and four minutes. An hour and some change. Alright, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with getting that win out there. Even though I had a lot of warm ups. This was a good one. Felt good. There's a nice symmetry for 32 23.